why would you do this? So funny to do some shit and then go to the internet and everyone on the internet says, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> it's just so much judgment. Just, ew, dude, what the f- Hey, everybody, Creamy Rock here. It's like The Rock, but smaller, moister, juicier, wetter. Today we're getting into some confessions. You know we love to do that here on this channel, very public confessions. You know, maybe we'll get into some deeper topics by way of these posts. Uh, so let's get into the first one. I used to chill in random people's houses when they weren't home. <laughs> <laughs> Years ago, when I lived in my previous city, I used to walk around neighborhoods that were not mine and look for houses where occupants were clearly not home and see if any entries were unlocked. I mean... You know, I'm not, I'm not a narc, but I'm pretty sure that's a crime. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not breaking and entering if I'm not breaking anything, right? I'm just entering. If I could get through a door or a window, I would usually go into their house and just chill on their couch. Sometimes watch their TV and eat their food. Also, most people's dogs are idiots when it comes to randos entering the home. I just took jerky treats with me and most were like, her der new human friendo. <laughs> So I chilled with random people's pets too. I used a raw chicken breast I stole out of one house's fridge to mess with people when I was drunk one time by eating the entire thing raw with my bare hands while making intense eye contact. I was never caught for any of this. If we're believing this even for a second, you're a psycho. Chilling in another person's house? I can't think of anything more unappealing. <laughs> <laughs> Being in another person's living room. F that not comforting at all dude but you know maybe maybe that was the rush of just sitting in their living room like any second now they're just gonna hey it's me yeah i'm, I'm rating this bull here's one this one just from the first nine words feels legit after eating gassy or smelly food I like to go to the store and rip it down the aisles people's bad reactions to my gas legitimately arouses me damn just standing in the cereal aisle and just some mother <laughs> on the other side you smell that that's me she's just like <laughs> Fuck you man <laughs> i think that's real but that's you're a you're you're a shit person my boyfriend told me he only wanted to marry because he thought I was inheriting sports season tickets. It's just a football team. My dad has season tickets for a sports team where the waiting list is decades long to get them. When my boyfriend heard from an offhand conversation that the tickets are going to my brother, he got really upset. He believes I should inherit them since I'm the oldest. Even after I explained I'm not a big sports fan, but my brother is. Then he said, your brother is gay. It means he can't like sports. My man, if there was anything ripe for gay entertainment, gay male entertainment, I'm going to say it's sports. Do I have to say it? We've all heard this bit before. Bunch of men in tight ass uniforms. I mean, MMA, it's a bunch of fucking half naked guys just beating the fuck out of each other and sweating and spitting and kissing. And... All right, moving on. <laughs> <clears throat> he said, your brother is gay and it means he can't like sports and the tickets should go to someone who will appreciate them when the time comes. If there's anyone who's going to come to those tight men in uniform. <laughs> he said he had fun when, he, when we started dating, but once he found out my dad had tickets for his favorite team, he resolved to marry me our relationship ended over season tickets well good on you i never thought i would say that but here we are i can't believe it best revenge ever become the biggest sports fan you can or at least fake it and post pics of yourself all the time at the games <laughs> <laughs> it's actually good advice i like that <laughs> post it and then have your gay brother just on his phone in the background every time <laughs> buy your brother an ipad with phone in two thousand dollar noise canceling headphones like for an airplane pilot and he's just sitting there <laughs> watching coco melon actually yeah that should just be all your pictures here at the game but i don't give a fuck and <laughs> <laughs> here at the game because the seats are comfy yeah, yeah. <laughs> post a picture of the game in your box seats and then yeah have your ipad in front with a tv show I wouldn't really rate that a confession so much. I, I guess it, it is a personal thing, but nothing to be ashamed of there. You didn't do shit. It's your ex-partner who sucks. What a, what an idiot. What a fucking idiot. How dumb are you? <laughs> Honestly, how stupid are you? Marriage is for life, and you thought you were going to... So were season tickets. I know season tickets are for life. 
But you're with that person for 24 times 6.99 hours a week. A football game or whatever sports game is max three hours once a week for a set period of time. You're gonna marry someone that you weren't really into for that? You're a fucking loser. Have you no purpose? Glad you're out of that relationship. I hope you find a man who appreciates you and turns you on to sports and you go, you know what? This ain't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be the funniest shit. She finds a guy who's like, yeah, you know sports, maybe you would enjoy it. Da, 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 da. And then you find out he just only wanted you for the season tickets. All right. Here's a good one. I am looking for a Spanish teacher. <laughs> I know this is Alex. Hello, I'm looking for a lady to teach me Spanish in the new year. I also want this woman to be my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay 200 an hour. What are we talking about here? Is she your girlfriend during the hours paid? Are you paying in perpetuity? Are we talking about $200 an hour for a remainder of a year or something like that? <laughs> Sorry, I've been playing a lot of StarCraft lately. I'm just thinking about the numbers dude that's a lot of money man that's forty eight hundred dollars a day jump on this shit. spanish speakers jump on this you don't have to take pictures of your feet anymore just hang around this dude no that's way worse <laughs> oh here we go a tiktok this will be fun <laughs> i like this i love this put that tiktok right here i love this when my mom mentioned how I told her that Harry pees in a bucket and under the stage and on reflex said, I would drink it <laughs> in front of my grandparents, parents, sister, and aunt. <laughs> Love how proud of this she is. <laughs> Can you believe I said I would let Harry, I would drink Harry's piss from a bucket? Oh my God. How quirky am I? I'd make a painting out of his shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so unhinged. <laughs> I'm so random. <laughs> I'd cut Harry open and eat a hot dog out of his intestines. Oops. You know what I love when people say the FBI couldn't get this out of me? I love how it's just the dead opposite for the people that they're commenting on. The internet talent show got it out of them. They're on TikTok, they're watching these people. Can I get to the yams? And then other people like, look at my cool dance. Someone reporting on the news and then they go, oh, oh I have a talent. I, I would drink Harry's pee. <laughs> Anyway, uh, what <laughs> is this? Why did you title this Stroke That Cuzzo? <laughs> You've not heard that sound? Stroke That sh Cuzzo. Oh, <laughs> you haven't heard that sound? Stroke That Thing Cuzzo. <laughs> nah. Oh. Six weeks ago, this girl and I decided dating wasn't working. And broke up. I went to see my older cousin at his place. And when I walked in, I saw my alma mater t-shirt on his couch. She then walked out of his room and said, I've been waiting on dick like that for months. <laughs> so your cousin took your girl. I don't know. She's moving up the ladder. <laughs> she tried you out. She was like, bronze. Easy. It's time to go to platinum league. <laughs> Oh, Alex, this is you. I paid for Tinder Gold for three years and got no p <laughs> You know what's messed up is I know they're like putting bots on Tinder for sure. And it's crazy that they can just gamify that shit. Like if they wanted, Tinder could just make it so you never actually match with real people and keep you paying, you know? They just have like a bunch of lonely people out there just like bot conversations, swiping, maybe, maybe, maybe. Now I'm just thinking about a person in like rural Kentucky. And they're like getting all these like interesting matches of people being like, damn, they live out here? <laughs> they don't. <laughs> <laughs> just copying profiles from like LA, Chicago, and New York, and then just showing them. So I'm like, man, I didn't realize I could take it. So many beautiful women. They don't. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they do in the big city, but you know, not whatever like meth town you're at. <laughs> <laughs> this girl's got teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Saw a TikTok recently of some girl being like, oh, this dude's hitting on me because he's like, it's so hard to find a girl with all her teeth in this town that she popped out her dentures. Oh. <laughs> and he's like, you lose them all for meth? And he's like, yeah. Here's a fun one to end it on. I told my crush I have a small penis. It was tough. <laughs> That's where the post should have ended. <laughs> it was tough. Yep. As a Reddit consumer... I've seen a lot of these posts, different variations of this type of posts. And I always wondered to myself, why 
tell. Just disappoint. Wouldn't it be better to just rip your clothes off and then when she looks up and kind of, you know, gives her that wince, you just go, eh. No? <laughs> I don't know. Make it collaborative. Hey. No? No good? <laughs> what do we do here? You know? Like, work it out. Why you just, before you're about to go home, she's in a good mood. I have a small. <laughs> And then she's sitting there like, well, I would have looked past that. But now that you said it and everyone's looking, I think I'm just going to go up to my room. Oh, you just wanted a free meal. No, no, not this again. Okay. I struggled with this insecurity for a long time. No frosty juggernaut 957 is not my burner account on Reddit. I struggled with this insecurity for a long time. Me and her would always eye each other at the gym. She always looked me in the eyes. I couldn't take it anymore. I wanted her. She wanted me. We would always look at each other. We would always ask each other how many sets left, even though we didn't even want to use the same machine. I'm insecure about myself. I'm insecure to the point I finally had to let it out. Yesterday, I finally got her digits and texted her my insecurity. What? <laughs> before we engage and before I waste your time, I wanted to say, I have a small dick. Oh my God. And I hope it doesn't matter to you. It does. She blocked me. <laughs> no, 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 no. If it does, we aren't meant to be. I started tearing up when I typed up and pressed send. My heart was racing. I saw a message saying, well, okay, uh, is this a prank? I don't fuck on the first date, so what am I supposed to do with this info? I'll pay for a meal myself. <laughs> I immediately froze and didn't reply, but I'm relieved the deed is done. I told my crush my biggest insecurity and she didn't block me. Even if I don't get a chance to have her, I still finally admitted my biggest insecurity and I feel like a real man now. Instead of hiding it, I faced it. Damn, this top comment is so good. I really wouldn't lead with this moving <laughs> forward. <laughs> Why do you say like some happy ending? Like, and his dick grew two inches that day. <laughs> this person must consume too much anime. I told her, I did it. I admitted to her that I have a small <laughs> and she didn't block me. Shut up, man. Look. I get being insecure, you know? Some people have insecurities that aren't so apparent. Big ass feet, small ass dick, big old you know, whatever it is. When you point it out, when you're like, I think that's when it puts people on alert. But you know, if you're forming a connection, she's having a good time, and then you're just like, hey, 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 hey by the way, <laughs> it's not big. She might like, oh, whatever, you know? Who knows? I, I believe this is real because at the time that we're reading this, this shit has zero upvotes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got so many comments. It's got at least 15, but no no one read that and was like, eh, good job. Everyone read that and just went. Bruh. If any guy, regardless of size, told me about his dick before the first date, I would cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> Two comments in a row. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? Why would you do this? So funny to do some shit and then go to the internet and everyone on the internet says, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> just so much judgment. Just, ew, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> she comments, dude, you already texted me this. I don't know why you're telling other people now. <laughs> Crazy. Send this man to jail. <laughs> That's the end of the video. Goodbye. I didn't come here to play. Now I came with a plan. I'm the star inside my circle. I'm the pentagram. Whoa, whoa. Making sacrifices just to get the lamb. Oh, oh, I'm trying to see how fast that hurricane go. Eyes burning, no sleep, hustle is OD.